in the future, wars are going to be fought over water. Protecting your wetlands is really protecting your future. And can you imagine a future without water? There's some people that most certainly still think, hey, I'm going to come out to this marsh and I'm going to get eaten alive by mosquitoes, right? And that's certainly not always the case. When you want to relax, you can go to the wetland. When you need fish, you go to the wetland. I, even the people, when they need to fix the houses, go to the wetland. The wetlands are of great benefit to the whole world environment. They store water like huge sponges and release it in the dry seasons. Peatlands are extremely important because most of the water that we use, not only for human consumption, but also for electricity, for irrigation, for crops, all that water is water that is stored here. People don't realize that, but it's, it's time that they should open their eyes and see what wetlands can do for us. Many people after the hurricanes learn that thanks to mangrove, they live. There's a lot of carbon dioxide stored in that peat. And once it's dry, then you have a lightning fire, it would all burn up. And so all that carbon dioxide that's been saved would be released into the atmosphere. More than 40% of the carbon is retained in the wetlands. Up to maybe 300 or 400 tons of carbon per hectare. So the same as a tropical rainforest. So to lose them, would be a tremendous loss to humanity. Why aren't we using that water to sequester carbon? Why aren't we using that water to help grow species that will sequester carbon? We should be doing it. And industry needs to see a value in it. The economy needs to see a value in it. Then it becomes no different than growing corn and soybean. We're just growing wetlands.